Do you think enhanced lifters have any business giving naturals advice? This was a question that I got asked recently on an Instagram Q&A. And in general, I never get into the whole natty or not debate or argue over natural versus enhanced training styles. Because as someone that trains both natural bodybuilders and enhanced bodybuilders, I can tell you from years of experience, there's not a way to train natural bodybuilders or a way to train enhanced bodybuilders. It's completely individual and there's so many different variables. Yes, anabolics included that all dictate how a person's training should be programmed. But this was a fair question and one that I wanted to elaborate on a little bit more as most people completely miss the boat when asking this question. So let's jump into the video and discuss this topic. So, do I personally think that enhanced bodybuilders have any business giving natural lifters advice? I personally never like to give black and white answers without any form of context. So let me preface this video by saying the answer to this question is completely context dependent. And there's actually two types of enhanced bodybuilders, coaches, gurus, or influencers, or whatever they want to call themselves, that focus on helping bodybuilders build more muscle, prep for a bodybuilding stage, or just overall health and fitness related goals. The first type, the guy who's clearly been enhanced his entire career. Many of these guys literally start using PEDs within the first one to three years of training. Some even start on day one. Many pro bodybuilders fall into this category. Many get inspired by pro bodybuilders at a very young age, some even in their teens, and they hit the gym and start doing what they need to do. They know that many of their top idols are on the Olympia stage using PEDs, so they hop right on them themselves and they get to work. Even Arnold himself started using PEDs at a very young age. There's some reports that even as a young teenager, he was experimenting with anabolics. Now, guys that personally choose to do this, that's obviously personal preference. Not something I condone or would say is the way to go about it, even if your goal is to be a pro bodybuilder. But again, that's a personal decision. The problem with this is when they do decide to become a coach, they really never learn how to build muscle naturally in the first place. Now, PEDs don't just build muscle without hard training or dieting. I'm not gonna sit here and say that, but trust me when I say that the majority of guys using PEDs are doing so and making up for poor choices in training and nutrition, and they're still getting great results. For example, some guys can literally hit the gym with no other plan in mind other than what body part they're training that day. As long as they put in a high level of effort, leave the gym, go home, eat, rest, they'll grow. They might not even know how many calories, grams of protein, carbs, or fats they're eating in a typical day, but as long as they make sure that they're getting enough food in, and when you mix PEDs, hard training, and lots of calories, muscle building happens pretty consistently. And believe it or not, this is a pretty standard protocol for many pro bodybuilders, even guys that are on the Olympia stage. I can't tell you how many pro bodybuilders that I know personally that in an off-season scenario, they couldn't tell you how many sets they're planning on performing in the gym. They couldn't tell you how many grams of protein, carbs, or fats, or calories they're consuming. They do, however, put in a high level of effort in the gym, but most of these guys are training based on how they feel. They're consistently eating enough calories so that the scale continues to move. And as a result, they make progress year after year. And because when you mix diet, training, and PEDs in this manner, it becomes fairly easy to duplicate this plan for someone else. And that's what you see most enhanced bodybuilders who never train naturally actually do. They give the same cookie cutter protocol out that they use to build their physique. Now, let's say a natural bodybuilder hires them, grabs one of their courses or books, or looks to them for more information. And maybe these enhanced bodybuilders don't necessarily talk about the PED use, and they just give out training and nutrition advice. Now you have a natural bodybuilder following the training program that was originally designed around three variables, training, nutrition, and PEDs. But this natural bodybuilder, he's only following two of them. Obviously, you know which one is left out. Now, Maybe this plan even works, but most likely because it's missing out a vital link in this program. It just doesn't work very well. A great example is how most pro bodybuilders today train with a one body part per week frequency. And while there's nothing wrong with that directly, 
and you can find many natural bodybuilders who do follow a similar approach and make great progress. You have to understand that when you mix one body part per week training frequency with something like anabolics, which keep protein synthesis elevated for days at a time, it will completely eliminate the issue that arises when you train one body part every seven days. Whereas you take a natural bodybuilder that trains a body part, you'll see a spike in protein synthesis for up to 48 hours following that training session then it'll quickly fall back to baseline. And in many cases, that same bodybuilder experiencing a detraining effect five, six, or seven days later. And you compare that with an enhanced bodybuilder where this doesn't happen. You can see where I'm going with this. But don't take this example the wrong way, like most people do. And don't assume that that means that there's a way to train for natural bodybuilders and that there's a way to train for enhanced bodybuilders. It goes way beyond frequency and there's so many other variables. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to training programming. But the example is a good one to explain how enhanced bodybuilding training is mostly centered around three variables. And you could always manipulate one or even two to make the other more productive. Naturals just don't have that luxury, which leads me right into the next person that we're gonna talk about today. The bodybuilder that trained naturally for years and even decades maxed out his natural physique and then went the enhancer route using PEDs. So he's not natural anymore, but the question is, because he's an enhanced bodybuilder, is there any issues with him giving advice to natural lifters? In that case, this bodybuilder might be a perfect example of someone who has all the qualifications to give naturals advice, provided he's a good coach, knows how to work with individuals, and isn't giving out cookie cutter approaches. In fact, one argument that you could make is someone who's trained naturally for all those years, maxed out his physique, and then went the PED route, he likely even has a greater understanding of how to build muscles in natural, because now he's seen firsthand exactly how much of a difference PEDs make in training, nutrition, and the overall approach to building muscle. And now you can factor in that when body weight increases, when you have the use of anabolics, how the training, the nutrition, and the overall setup needs to be changed because now we're dealing with a much bigger, more enhanced bodybuilder. Not only that, if he has experience training with enhanced bodybuilders, and natural bodybuilders, you'll understand that there is a different approach to taking someone who's lifetime natural and drug-free at 180 pounds and trying to add 20 to 30 pounds of muscle onto his frame compared to a super strong, super heavy, enhanced bodybuilder who already has an extremely large amount of muscle mass. So the bottom line and my stance on this question, it all depends who's giving the advice. What's his track record? Has he been there and done what you're looking to accomplish? Does he have experience with your exact situation? Are you looking to duplicate his results or his client's results? And more importantly, does he work with natural bodybuilders? Or have natural bodybuilders gotten results off of his program? Do your research, find a good coach and find a good plan. And if you're asking for my opinion and you're here because you're looking to build more muscle and you wanna use proven old school bodybuilding training methods, I highly recommend you check out my five day old school program in the description below. And as always, if you guys want to see more of the best original body content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.